force is the action of one object on another. An example is pulling on a rope. Note that the force in a rope is always directed along the rope itself. Force is measured as a vector, which we'll describe in a minute. Weight is a specific type of force, the action of the Earth's gravity on some other object, always directed downward. Weight is not mass, which describes the amount of material present. This is why we would weigh less on the moon, even though our mass is the same. Friction is a specific type of force, which resists the relative motion between two objects. The direction is always opposite the motion. Arborists can only work in trees because of friction. Something as simple as choosing a specific climbing knot or using a false crotch instead of a natural crotch will significantly change the distribution of friction. Vectors describe quantities that have both magnitude or value and a direction associated with them. They are represented graphically by arrows. Vectors can only be added when they are acting in the same direction. Or, with trigonometry, they can be reduced to horizontal and vertical components, which can be added. Force is a vector, because both the amount of force and the direction are required to understand the quantity. Moment is the twisting action caused by a force acting some distance from a pivot point. An example of moment is when we install a pull line in the top of a tree. We are putting a force at a distance from the cut or the pivot point, but only the component of the force that is perpendicular to the moment arm, the tree, is effective. Looking at the vector diagram, it is easy to see why our pull is more effective when we are standing some distance away and not wasting a large component of the force we impart by trying to pull the tree downward. Energy is the potential to do work. Energy can be converted from one form to another, but is not lost. An example is when a piece of wood is cut from the tree. It starts with potential energy, which is converted to kinetic energy as it starts to fall, then to elastic energy as the rope stretches, and finally to heat energy as the rope runs over the lowering device. Acceleration is the rate of change of speed of an object. Gravity is a constant acceleration acting downward with a value of about 32 feet per second per second. The force needed to change an object's speed, accelerate it or decelerate it, is proportional to the acceleration. In rigging, a large acceleration will correspond to a large shock load. Anyone lowering wood from a tree has learned this. If the piece is brought to a stop gradually, long time to change the speed or a small acceleration, the force is much lower than if the rope is not allowed to run.